Okay, hey YouTubers, uh, glad to see you back. And um, I had an update for my blood pressure for you. And uh, you know, when I went in the hospital, my blood pressure was almost 200 over 200, which is like outrageously high. You know that I made a video about um, Dr. Batman Galij and his water cure. Now I've been doing the water cure for three weeks. I have to say, uh, my pharmacist has just advised me to stop. It's been a week now, actually nine days or 10 days today. Uh, to stop taking half of my blood pressure medication. So I only take it once a day now instead of two times a day and my blood pressure is under control. And it shouldn't be long now, I guess, that as soon as I get the right amount of water for me in my body that probably my blood pressure come back to normal. It's pretty normal. It Just before I stopped taking the medication, my blood pressure was doing things like 130 over 80 and now it's doing like 126, 125 over 80, sometimes 76. One time this week it was... Um, like 111 over 68 so I know that that's pretty normal and it's pretty good so I'll just have to be able to get some other things under control um, the other thing I want to mention is magnesium I was using magnesium because that relaxes muscles and your arteries are lined with muscles so you want to make sure they stay relaxed and potassium so that the magnesium gets absorbed properly and potassium also helps regulate if you have an irregular heartbeat which I do so that's all. I just wanted to update you guys, let you know that it is working, and my pharmacist is guiding me. So it's not necessarily I don't I don't know why he's allowed to guide me, and it's okay. But I guess here in Quebec, you know, pharmacists are allowed to give you asthma medication if you need it without a prescription. They just hand it to you. So I'm sure that they have different tactics that they're allowed to use pharmacists to help people get off certain medications as long as they're doing safely. And um, I guess it's similar to having a doctor's advice. So my pharmacist. Family Brie, excellent people, um, guiding me, showing me, helping me, getting the products that I need, calling me back. They called me back and check up on me, so that's awesome too. Okay, well, I just wanted to give you an update and let you know that the water cure is working, so I suggest that if you have high blood pressure and a lot of other illnesses too, um, just look it up, the water cure, salt, sea salt, unrefined sea salt, not cooked, not processed. It's wet in the bag. You'll, it looks very different from regular sea salt. And distilled water. Just leave it on the counter for a bit. Let the chlorine evaporate overnight. Awesome. So I hope that if you're trying it, you get a just as good success so far as I have. And I'm really proud of myself that able to change my diet a little bit more. And actually the high blood pressure medication has made me gain 15 pounds. So I'm not really pleased about that. And I'm not pleased about staying on medication for the rest of my life. That's just not good. I don't accept that. It's not my DNA, it's not my genetics. I don't accept. So, I ask you also to not accept and question your health and don't take what, just don't take medication because it's prescribed to you. Taking a beta blocker can, can increase, increase your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke like 10 to 25% alone. And there's no proof that blood pressure medication or beta blockers lower your blood pressure sufficiently or long enough so that, you know, no one's gonna guarantee you're not gonna have a stroke anyways. So, best to change your food and strengthen your arteries and control your pressure naturally by controlling your stress and managing what you eat. So, take care of yourself, have a great day, and I'll let you know when I'm totally off medication, and uh, I surely will celebrate if that happens. Take care.